So let's look at a couple more example problems where we need to find a missing angle in an isosceles triangle. So remember with some isosceles triangle, let me just draw a general one, that they have two equal side lengths and the angles that are opposite these equal side lengths, these are equal as well. So this angle and this angle would be equal in this triangle since another way to look at it is that the equal angles open to the equal side lengths. So they're directly across from those equal side lengths and that's what you see here. So this is true of all isosceles triangles and we can use this information to figure out what our missing angle is here. Since notice in this triangle here, we have two side lengths that are equal to each other and they are different from the third one. If this was also four, then we would actually have an equilateral triangle. So these two are equal, which means that the angles that are opposite these equal sides, these are equal as well. So from that, we can determine that this also has to be a 56 degree angle. And now that we know two of the angles, we can use the fact that the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees to be able to figure out this missing angle here. So let's set up that equation that, actually let me use a brighter color, that the 56 degree angle plus the other 56 degree angle plus our missing angle, x degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. So let's combine like terms. 50 plus 50 is 100, 6 plus 6 is 12, so that's 112 degrees plus x degrees is 180. And to solve this, we just want to subtract 112 degrees on each side. So if we take away 110, then we're down to 70 degrees. And if we take away two more, we're at 68 degrees. So this is what we think is our answer. And to check this, we can just plug this in. All three of these angles need to add up to 180 degrees, which that's something you can check either by hand or by using your calculator. But when you add those together, you will see that they do add up to 180. So we can feel confident that our missing angle here is 68 degrees. And let's do one more of these problems. And we'll follow the same strategy. We just want to recognize which sides of our triangle are equal. So these two are equal. We have another isosceles triangle. And we also know that the angles opposite those equal sides, those are going to be equal as well. So if this is 55 degrees, that means this one is also 55 degrees. And now that we know two of the angles, we can add them together. We can find their sum and set it equal to 180 degrees to be able to figure out what x is equal to. So we can say that the 55 degree angle plus the other 55 degree angle plus our missing angle is equal to 180. And from here, we can just combine like terms. So 55 and 55, that's 110 degrees. And solving for x, we just want to subtract 110 on each side and taking away 110 from 180 gives us 70 degrees. So again, this is what we think is our final answer. And to check this, you just want to plug in what you think is the answer and then make sure that these angles add up to 180 degrees. And 55 and 55, that makes 110. 110 plus 70 is 180. So our missing angle here is 70 degrees.